What up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be about the puppy update. It has been exactly how many days today? Yesterday was two weeks. Today will be 15 days since the birth of these puppies. Yes. So we're going to go ahead and weigh them out, show you, let you know which one's boys, which one's girls, if they've been sold already, all the updates. And then we have really devastating news to tell you. We're not you. sold yet. They put a deposit on them. Okay. So once they give me a second payment, then it's a for sure thing that, that they're going through. But as of right now, it's, uh, they, they're very serious about these puppies. All right. So we have two of them with deposits on them. There yes. you go. Um, We do have very sad news for you guys, but we're going to wait until the end of the video to explain all of that. So now we are just going to go ahead and show you the love. I'm going to let my husband take it over. We're going to weigh these puppies and see what they look like. All right, guys. I'm going to walk you through these puppies. Weigh them out. I'm going to grab the, the scale. Grab the scale real quick. Ugh. Put it right next to me, or yeah, right next to me. Turn it on. So this is this is puppy number one. So this is the firstborn, and she's opening her eyes. Look, you're telling what it is. Yeah. So this is our girl. This is a little female. This is our female, and this is the one that we are going to keep. My husband says. Unless you guys can offer her. Wow. She's three pounds. Three pounds? What? Yes. Chunker? Let me go wash my hands. She just peed. Uh oh, she just pee peed. Oh, there goes mommy cleaning it up. So, if any of you guys that don't know the process or how this works, the mom stimulates the puppies to pee. So, what happens is they lick them and they get stimulated and they end up peeing and pooping. Oh. They've been sleeping for hours, so. Come on, get in. You either out or in, Misty. Watch out. Yeah. All right. So, puppy number two. What was puppy number two? The cow. What was the cow? It was the cow. Right. This is puppy number two. Look at this fat boy. Oh my god, look at it. I love him. So, he is actually a gray white puppy with a little tail. Um, So, he is a blue and white or gray and white however you guys so say it and his eyes are opening too we don't know the color of the eyes yet well he's three three pounds three oh. pounds three ounces three pounds three ounces what wow. all right puppy number three this is a brendel this is mommy's twin right here exact exact twin he is so beautiful it's another boy Beautiful. Look at his coat. His eyes are open too. He is a chunker. Okay. Three pounds. Oh my goodness. This one's too big. <laughs> this one. Two, two, two pounds fifteen. Oh my god, babe. The puppy fell out of the thing. <laughs> He's escaping. And this is actually the fifth puppy. So this is fifth puppy. We will explain to you again at the end of the video what happened to number four. So this is, a, we call him Dipstick. He is a boy. Uh, yeah, this one's good he is a boy. Look how chunky he is. Look how thick he is. He was the second smallest. And his eyes are open as well. He actually looks just like his great grandfather, right? Or his grandfather? Yeah, his great grandfather. His great grandfather, Dax. So he is the cutest little thing. And again, we don't know the color of the eyes he, yet. This, this is one of the ones that the, they gave me a deposit for them. Yes, yeah, so there's a deposit on this one. Um, and then there is a deposit on number two. This is two pounds. Number two right eight here. Ounces. Two pounds, eight ounces. All right, so there's a deposit on these two puppies right here. So the black one, one and the cow one. These two. So we are, we do have the Brendel that looks like Misty, still available. Um, and the girl, my husband said that he is willing to sell, but she's going for a lot of money. Um, I actually want to keep her, so. 
I'm hoping we just keep her. And then there goes the dad. This is our blue. He's gray. And then we have the Brendel, the mom. As of a couple days ago, the puppy started opening their eyes. It's been something new. We don't know the color of their eyes yet, um, but they are getting a lot around so much easier. Um, as you guys can see, they are really trying to get out of this pool that we got them. So I think we're gonna have to get something bigger. Dude, these puppies get around so much now. They're just so big. Uh, I don't know if they can hear yet. I don't know exactly when their ears start opening. But look at them. Wait. Oh, it's, it's dinner time. Dinner time. They're going nuts. Like this is how they fight. They fight each other. And there's plenty of nipples to go around. There's plenty of nipples? Plenty of nipples. Look at this one. This Brendel one's getting in. It's about to steal it from the cow. Yeah, we haven't named any of the puppies yet. They are still one, two, three, four, five. Um, except for this one because we are keeping it. So I did name this one. Well, I have a name that I want. I don't even know the name. But I would love for you guys to help us. Please comment below what you guys think we should name the girl. I want to know what you guys feel. What do you want to name her? Um, I want to sell her. No. no I'm just playing. <laughs> um, I don't know. You don't know? I'm going to name her Little Ashley. No, 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 no. Calm down. I don't know yet. All right, you guys, so on to number four. If a lot of you guys don't know who number four is, it was our fourth puppy that was born. On the birth video that we have on our YouTube channel, it's the puppy that Christian had to revive. It took a long time. It was born without its sack and what did you say, feet first? Yeah, it was born feet first, which puppy usually are born head first, like, you know, like humans. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was asleep, so I don't know. But uh, watching the video, it took him a minute to get the puppy to start breathing. So we ended up yesterday, it was fine all day. And then I was using, or I was working on something over here and he went to the bathroom. When he came out of the bathroom, he said he noticed the puppy was acting weird. Yeah, it was uh, It was in a fetal position, shaking like if it was uh, in pain. It, it, when I went to the restaurant, it was eating, it was doing fine, you know, the mom was still laying down, uh, nothing has changed, only the puppy changed. Yeah, so I saw, I noticed him with it, and he's looking at it, and it's like rolled up, and it's moaning, it's not crying, it's not screaming, it was just constant moaning, and every time we would try to move it or stretch it would cry more so we decided let's just take the puppy into the vet, what if the mom stepped on it, who knows, you know. So we took it into the vet and they did x-rays. They did x-rays. And then they showed us the x-rays and it was heartbreaking to see that the inside of the, the puppy. The puppy was deformed, let's put it that way. It yeah. was missing rib cages uh, on, uh, what was it? On the, his right side, it was missing rib cage. So every time I breathe, you can see the lung popping out. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that we just was kind of hoping it would go away little by little, but so you know, till that day, it was it was actually it was actually suffering slowly. Yeah. So they the vet explained to us how the organs need to be protected by the ribs and how being exposed and all this stuff and just not just the rib cage. It was the puppy was just not okay. And they said the more it grew, the worse it was gonna get, and that's probably what was the situation because they grow every day like mm -hmm. tremendously. So. He, he said that it's up to us. We could either take the puppy home and they said it, it's going to pass anyways or, you know, wait it out. But heaven forbid we had brought it home. I don't think I was going to be able to it handle wasn't, that. It wasn't too much pain already. It was... Yeah, it, it was already crying. So we just decided let's not have it suffer anymore. And we, we told the vet to go ahead and um, take care of it, which we did not. I... I feel like we at this was a learning lesson for me, for me, 
I feel like we should have taken it to the vet earlier knowing it was so small to get it checked out without waiting because maybe we could have done something sooner or the what's really heartbreaking is misty is like looking for the puppy now mm -hmm. so if we would have done something earlier the heartbreak for misty would have been a lot easier i feel yeah you know sometimes puppies do grow out of it but this one it, it's impossible if you if you're missing rib cages and the, ins the whole inside of your intestines is all messed up. Yeah, they were um, saying he was going to... Because I, I, I never seen it poop. Yeah, you know, to be honest, I, I never... I've only seen it poop once. And it was very, like, brown and hard. Yeah. And they said that he can aspirate because the lungs and um, all that. So they were just saying it's just so much going on. So I just... It's a big learning lesson. They said it's normal for at least one pup out of the litter to have some type of deformity or genetic issue um it's just for us we we were really hoping it that it. it was gonna make it we were bottle feeding it and putting it on the mom so uh, right now we're just trying to make sure misty's okay she does go around looking for it she's really she really thinks blue did something to her puppy i believe she thinks blue ate it yeah she's been and blue was just clueless of what happened he's yeah i think he knows because he does he he's he's actually uh come around the he, yeah he comes around the he comes around the puppies a lot, a lot often now well she was allowing him so that's the thing is she was warming up to it and everything and then as of yesterday she noticed her puppy is gone and she completely stopped she won't let him near anything she actually like snapped. hesitation rights are over done uh child support on again yeah she snapped at him twice yesterday and i've never seen her snap at him she's never snapped at anybody no only at him now he yeah doesn't want them nowhere near she so now i have them separated yeah so i i do a learning lesson for sure that if our next litter down down the line if we get one that looks any type of suspicious we're going to take it in and get it looked at just because i i don't want um i think tomorrow she's going to get her restraining order too <laughs> <laughs> poor thing but other than that the other puppies are doing perfectly fine mom is doing perfectly fine blue blue is in timeout but he'll no, get over it he's not in timeout he just doesn't know what's going on yeah. Like, well, yeah i'm sorry he know he knows he just doesn't really know what happened yeah but it was a but boy he knows there's something missing around here yes yeah, so number four was a boy we named we didn't we named it well christian named it the miracle well, so. we, we all named it miracle to be yeah honest. and that was the, like the hardest thing for me yesterday is like oh my god we didn't even get to name this puppy and then christian was like yeah we did miracle and i'm like oh yeah you're right so i i had a hard time yesterday letting go but it's for the best really if you guys would have seen it was so painful so it was not worth it and heaven forbid i don't even know if it would have passed away in our in the dog bed how misty would have taken it uh, like they say sometimes they get depressed they don't even want you to take the dead puppy out like they'll like not allow you to even touch it so yeah i i it was a hot mess it was well everything just the like what ifs but no it it the puppy should not have suffered um i seen the puppy took his last breath hi that's when i took the picture of it that said rest in peace yeah. hopefully you can uh, upload it somewhere on here yeah so i will upload all the videos and the pictures and everything for our miracle somewhere up here upload the picture somewhere right here. <laughs> no at the end of the video i'll do a little time lapse for you guys of when it was born and all the way up until the end of the day so he ended up being born um on the sixth and passed away exactly the, the two weeks on the two weeks yeah so on the two week mark of being alive yeah and it's crazy because the doctor said like every day they grow and grow and grow his two weeks like is probably a milestone where his body couldn't yeah he didn't really he didn't really grow it's crazy because we were feeding him and he didn't grow at all so not much yeah it was hard but that's our two week updates at this point um 
Oh, so we do have one puppy that has not been deposited on or Let me grab one. anybody interested in. And a lot of you guys ask, how much does my husband sell the puppies for? Now, this puppy right here is our boy, Brendel. And he's a cute thing. Look at that dog. Oh, look, 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 look. So beautiful, beautiful. Looks just like the mom. When I saw the mom, I was like, that's my puppy. Um, he's going to be so cute. Look how fat he is. Yes, he Look is. at his coat. He's soft. Yes, he is. I love him. So he is going to go for how much? This guy is for 2500 So 2500 with papers, right? Yes. Okay, so if anybody knows anything I'm about... I'm going to try to see if I can have him potty train before they leave home. Or at least have... The puppies live with a little bit of knowledge of party training. Yeah, and um, they do come with papers. The girl puppy is our puppy. I am keeping her as much as my husband says he will sell her for $6,000. I don't think anybody will buy her for $6,000. Well, that's why the price is so high because you. I, I want to keep her, but if somebody comes and really wants the puppy and want to, want to give it a, the, the, one a, a real good home... My home is real good. Well, nobody is better than my home. <laughs> people, she, people she, want a a puppy too. Hey, that's fine. They can have the next puppy. So the only way they can get her out of my hands is only six thousand dollars. Okay. But that's why the price is high. All right, six thousand dollars, you guys, if you want the girl. But other than that, she is our girl. Help us name her. I'm so excited. I'm hoping that the next update we will be able to have them running around and their colored eyes or whatever color eyes they have will show up she's so beautiful i told my husband she's gonna look like a pug she's she, has a, she look, has a pug face she's gonna look like a, a pug mask. i know i know i know i know i know so so uh, as of now, two week mark, puppies and mom are so doing fun. amazing. Eyes are open, moving around, they're dreaming. A lot of them start, they bark in their dreams now too. They growl, they bark. They growl. You know who growls the most? The Brendel. The Brendel growls so much in its sleep. It's crazy. And it howls. Yeah. The little Brendel one howls. The personality, like no tomorrow. Um, the but, one with no deposit is that's the one that has yeah that's it's the crazy one. it has a lot of personality it does for being so young so much personality but it's okay and at this point i a lot of you guys have messaged and asked to what if we don't sell the puppies what are we going to do with them um they will be our puppies if they don't sell the more the merrier in our house all right you guys so that is our update i will update you again in a couple days once they in, start uh, what, in a week no in, in a the third week or in a couple days in a couple days depending on what the difference is comment down below because i want to know okay. i want to know to see uh if, if you guys want to know more about the puppies just let, let us know please all right so do you want us to do every week or do you want to do every couple days or what what are you into i was thinking whatever the milestones are so but whatever you guys want if you guys want more puppy updates sooner or i'll update week. how the day goes right if they start jumping or running yeah. all of a sudden we'll grab the camera and we'll start recording this there you go um so if you are new to our channel please feel free to join the family subscribe like and share um let me just introduce myself i'm sorry it's the end of the video my name is ashley this is my husband christian and um we do a lot of everything what's your uh, instagram <laughs> my instagram if you'd like to follow me is ashley underscore redarte i'll go ahead and put it down here my husband is redarte underscore c and i will post it for you as well and make sure to turn on that bell button so you get more notifications of the next videos we love you guys see you on the next one bye guys bye.